Hey there, YouTubers. I'm making up for showing my face so much that no face at all on this one. This event, August 6th, still coming up. Getting ready. So I am aware of an Asylum City TV show. People might be wondering, I go on and on about this hashtag Asylum City. Don't I know that there's this TV show? Plus, remember, I live in Asylum District. Named for the mental asylum founded by Dr. Hawthorne that was sort of subcontracted by the state of Oregon to do the mental hospital thing here in Portland before they could open one in the capital in Salem. So Asylum City is a meme around here in case you wondered why I was talking about it. Now this Galton board is something I was running in a very recent YouTube. So I tend to chain my YouTubes together with references that just go back a couple so we can sort of be on the same page as to the chronology. And this Turtle Graphics one is part of the random walk section of casino math that we do in digital math that we do in the Silicon Forest, meaning I do it at the Oregon Curriculum Network and then I share it with the world. So the medieval fantasy generator, let's go back to this. This would be like an Asylum City generator. So you just like give it a topology and um, it comes back with a city over and over. Now in this one, the topology itself is randomly generated. And, you know, maybe the, the idea though is that we can create many small villages. Each one is kind of a movie set. But this is a movie set where we're not that eager to tear it down, right? We're actually creating some ongoing movies. Because the movie won't end when the first movie about the founding of Rome, right? That would be its own movie. we got the, the wolf and the kids being raised by the wolf. You know, if we want to go science fiction. There's many ways to tell the story of the founding of Rome. But then when you fast forward <clears throat> to Rome and like in the 300s, right? You've got Emperor Constantine converting to Christianity. You've got Gibbon. I'm reading about Gibbon through a book about Wittgenstein. No, take that back. Through a book about Nietzsche and what Nietzsche might have absorbed from Gibbon, given Gibbon's somewhat caustic attitude towards the Christian influence on the Romans. He wasn't altogether happy about that. And it, it's been cool for a long time in Europe to be caustic towards the major religions in Europe, right? Both Christianity and Judaism. And Islam, I guess it was taken for granted to, that we were, we, quote unquote, the Europeans are kind of at war with the Ottomans. I don't know. I wasn't alive yet. So here we are doing random cities one after another. And I'm saying these are like asylum cities. You want to think in terms, because they do some thinking for you. There's a perimeter. There are town squares. There's places where people gather. Think of the country fair. Think of, which is an Oregon institution. When we design these, these campuses, we, we want to kind of do something. Maybe the Society for Creative Anachronism would help us do, right? And they're on different scales. This is all fractal, right? I'm not saying what the scale is exactly. <clears throat> so I just wanted to say I'm aware of the Asylum City meme as of 2019, but going back to my Google search, it is it does have kind of the connotations I'm after, which is Sanctuary City in Wikipedia. Portland tops the uh, headlines in many cases. So I'm on the cusp of something, but as far as connecting to anything I've been working on, there we've got Alphabet City and City of Asylum together there. Let's see where that takes us. Is Alphabet, I was thinking that might be, you know, that place in Toronto. But maybe Alphabet City, is that code for Pittsburgh or something like that? You guys got to let me know my own history, I guess. City of Asylum. It's a great metaphor. It's a great meme. It's really embedded everywhere. So I'm happy with the choice there. But I just wanted to show you kind of where I see where I see things. If I put my my own name in the search, let's see if we get anything there. Erner and.
and there we go. Asylum City the movie. So it takes this, I've been pitching this idea around Hollywood. I'm not actually in Hollywood, you understand. I'm just pitching the idea around Hollywood, right? So here we are pitching the idea around Hollywood. So think about needing to prototype um, artifacts, things we might want to live in and living together in those things like just because you can do one yurt can you do 10,000 and by yurt I mean maybe some metallic hanging from a pole thing never really was knocked out for any good reasons just we always have excuses when we fail but why 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 put up with failure the idea here is our technology is getting better and we're at a threshold where we could jump jump for it and try to get things to work better instead of just bombing ourselves back into the stone age again and trying to start over over and over that doesn't work all the time right it's time to take a stand and uh, go forward from here school of tomorrow talk to you soon